Boy, I swear. Ooh, I swear. Tissue paper, tissue paper, tissue paper. I've never seen um, a group of people who want to remain so politically correct that they've turned themselves to a culture of cream puffs. We have the cream puffs at Wisconsin State Fair, so that's the only thing I could think of. A real soft and mushy, kind of like a marshmallow. But I have to address, I got to address my man Russell Westbrook and the comments that he made regarding the fans and how they're treating his wife and the death threats that Nina said that she's getting from the fans and things of that nature. Let's talk about it, y'all. Now, the last time I checked, and this is no disrespect to anybody, first of all, let me make it known that threatening somebody's life over a damn basketball game is just really, really gone sick. But we live in a sick society. So, because I had somebody that was just going to shoot me the other day over some garbage cans. So, I know what I'm talking about. Um, this is a sick society, and you never know what a nut's going to do. That, I get it. Okay? But, Russell, you get paid $44 million a year. Your contract, you in $44 million. And you think there ain't nothing going to come with that? Oh, my God. I, I saw a play yesterday that they ran of you on defense when you just stood in the lane for about five seconds. I'm surprised you didn't get called uh, for three seconds. You just stood there. You're not on defense. You're missing layups. And the problem is, you got away with that stuff in Oklahoma. I'm just going to keep it real, dude. You got away with that. That's why Kevin Durant wanted to get away from you, because he knew he couldn't win shit with you. You play hard and you play strong, but you out of control, and you cannot play in a, within a team concept. You haven't been. So what happens is, all of your weaknesses... You're great at getting them up. There's not a great guard, uh, offensive rebounder better that I've seen. But what happens is you are out of control half of the time. And all those other teams you had, they covered up for your weaknesses. It didn't really matter. But the, the best superstar you played with got away. He was like, uh-uh, I ain't going to never win nothing with this ever. You got mad at him, but he did the right thing. He had to break that relationship because that wasn't going nowhere. Same thing with the Lakers. You out of you play out of control. And the thing about it is your weaknesses were never under a microscope like they are in L.A. You in a storybook franchise. The Boston Celtics, the damn L.A. Lakers. You don't get no more storybook than that. And then you open up your mouth and you say stuff like, well, they can go home and boo. Take their ass home and boo. Uh, blah, blah. You ain't got no humble spirit in you. Okay. Okay. They can take their ass home and boo. You don't care. You didn't have any expectations for your game when you went to L.A., Right? Ain't that what you said? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. See, that's what you thought. You really didn't know what I was up for. You didn't know what my expectation. What kind of craziness is that? What? Hey, look, I ain't never, I ain't even no pro ball player, and I know how to handle PR better than that. What the hell wrong with you? And 44 million, I'll just take four of them million. I'll take four of them. And take be as humble pies. Every one of my answers will be when I walk up to that podium, I'll be like, you know what? I know I'm playing like trash. Um, I don't know if it is the um, the uh, uh, thing.
thing of being home, the pressure of being home. Um, I don't know. I'm doing everything I can to fit in because I know my game is not where it should be. That's what way I would be talking. And I would do my best to get on board with this because I know once we get on board, we're a great team. Not only on paper, but we'll be a great team in terms of deeds. You can't do that because ain't no humble pie in you. But you're going to eat a little bit this season, honey. Because you out there looking real, 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 real bad. And you make the Lakers look bad. It got damn LeBron James, damn near 40 years old, out there playing 56, getting 56 points, playing the whole damn game so y'all can win one game. He had to work so hard, he can't even play the next game. That's what y'all doing him. And he got you there so he could get a rest. Now, I ain't going to let the Lakers and none of them off the hook either. Because, first of all, it should have been established when, when he got there. You remember when Carmelo said, hey, man, they want me to come off the bench, man. And next thing you know, he was out of the league for two years. That's what y'all should have did with Russell Westbrook. You should have said, listen, because you and LeBron need the ball so much and y'all play so much alike or whatever a reason, either we're going to have to have LeBron come off the bench or you come off the bench. And I think the – um. The, uh, uh, the the consensus is we'll just have you lead the second unit and you be LeBron for the second unit. You should have started the game that way. You didn't do it. You did not do it. So you are partly responsible for Russell Westbrook running amok and not being able to deal with the nasty, dirty product that he putting out there. He putting out a bad product, and it's just that simple. And Boston fans are crazy, and L.A. fans are real crazy. Just about neck and neck. I don't know who the crazy is. So I understand your wife and everybody being upset. They Maybe they should stay home because you ain't playing like nothing, nobody worth coming to see right now, Russell. And it's just that simple. And that's no disrespect to you because you're a good dude. And you got um, good ideas, it just ain't right. And sometimes when you go home, it just ain't right. Sometimes you can't go home again. But I know everybody can't play for the Lakers. And everybody can't play for the Boston Celtics. That's a lot of damn pressure. It's like having to come up behind Whitney Houston. Are you kidding me? All right. With that being said... I done said my piece to Nina and Russell Westbrook. And I wish your family well. I'm not hating on y'all to keep your kids away from the arena because that's what I would do. If they was talking about me like that, I'd be like, no, we can't go to the game right now. We'll watch Daddy uh, some other time. I'll put on his greatest moments tape. That's what I would do. All right, you guys. Tell me what y'all think. You think I'm out of order? If you like what you hear, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video.